The Notes tool in Affinity Publisher allows you to create and manage academic style notes. There are three different types of notes in the Affinity Publisher app. There are footnotes, side notes, and endnotes. Every note, regardless of its type, consists of two parts, a reference within your document's main text and a note body that provides a citation or comment. In this example, I want to reference James Denmore's contribution in this article about the QWERTY keyboard. So to begin with, I'll locate the notes panel by going to Window, References, and selecting Notes. The notes panel is made up of several sections, containing options to insert footnotes, side notes, and endnotes, as well as to adjust the notes numbering, positioning, formatting, and rules. To insert a new note, I'll position the cursor where I want to insert my reference. I'll go over to the notes panel, and making sure I have the footnotes option selected, I'll choose to insert a new note by using the insert note button here. When pressed, two things happen. The first is that we've created a reference point within our text frame. And we can see that that's represented by this superscript one here. The second is that a new text frame or note body has been generated. And this frame is linked directly to our reference. This is where we can add in our note or comment. So I'll go out to the document containing my note and I'll select my first note and I'll copy it using Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. We'll go back to our publisher document and I'll paste the note into the note body by using Command V on Mac or Control V on Windows. We could choose to edit the notes formatting manually using the text options on the context toolbar or we could choose to apply a note body text style. I'll choose to apply one that I prepared earlier. Next, we'll adjust the notes positioning. So I'll change the notes positioning dropdown from below text to below frame. And this will position the note body below our text frame. I'll then decrease the min gap before spacing slightly. So the note fits better underneath the text frame. Under rules, we can also choose to adjust the line stroke style changing its color and stroke width. I'm happy with the formatting of my first footnote. So now I'll choose to add in another note reference point. And I'll add this footnote into this section here where we're referencing the Remington number two typewriter. Instead of inserting a note using the notes tools panel, I'm going to locate my note reference position I'm going to right click, go down to Notes, and choose Insert Footnote. Once again, we've added a new reference into our original text frame, and we can see that it's being represented here by this superscript number two, as well as our additional note body, which is once again linked to the new reference. This time, I'll adjust the positioning of the new note body to sit below this image of the typewriter. So I'll adjust my gap between and increase it to around 200 points. I'll once again go up to my document containing my references, copy my second footnote, and paste it into the new note body. I'll once again apply the footnote textile that I prepared earlier. In addition to footnotes, we can also insert side notes. If I go to this article below, I'm looking to insert a side note into this article so I can once again reference this image. So I'll find the end of the sentence referencing the campus building. I'll right click, go to notes and choose to insert a side note. And this time I'll choose to change my numbering options, electing to change the reference numbering formatting to Roman numerals. I'll then adjust the position of the new notes body using the positioning settings on the notes panel. We'll make sure that my note position is set to right of frame. We'll increase the frame's width to 100 mil. And we'll change distance from to 55 millimeters. This will position the new note text body underneath the corresponding image. So again, I'll go out to my reference document. I'll copy my side note. Go back to my publisher document and paste it into the waiting text frame. In addition to footnotes and side notes, we can also add in endnotes to the document. Endnotes still consist of two parts, a reference and a note body. 
However, unlike side notes or footnotes, the EndNotes note body appears separately on the last page of the document. When creating an EndNote, we can either select our position, right click, go to Notes and choose Insert EndNote, or again with our position selected and our EndNote option on the Notes panel selected, click the Insert Note button. When doing so, it will once again create a reference wherever my cursor was positioned, as well as generating a new page at the end of the document, where my EndNotes will now be collated. I can choose to reposition this EndNote text frame, and I can also choose to apply a master to this page. It's important when inserting, whether that's copy and pasting or typing, an EndNote into the EndNote note body that it's inserted in between the designated note marks. To make this easier, I'm going to make sure that my note marks are visible. So we'll go to Text, down to Notes, and make sure that Show Note Marks has been selected. Now activated, we can see where we need to insert our note. So I'll go ahead and go back to my reference document, copy my first EndNote, go back to Publisher, and making sure that I'm importing this in between the two blue brackets or the note marks, we'll paste in our reference. We can go ahead and insert a second example. So I'll go to this article here, find my note reference position, right click, go to Notes, and choose Insert EndNote. We'll then go back to my original document. Copy my next note and careful again to insert it in between my note marks or paste in my new note. You may encounter a circumstance where you need to convert one type of note into another. For instance, you may come to the end of a document and decide you want to convert all of your footnotes into endnotes. So, to do this, we'll simply locate a note reference or note body. In this case, we'll go back to our original article and we'll select our first footnote reference. We'll right click, go to Notes, and choose Convert Notes. This will bring up the Convert Notes dialog and it allows us to choose what type of notes we would like to convert. So, in this case, footnotes, and I'd like to convert them into endnotes. We can then choose the scope, and in this case, we can choose between the entire document or just our current selection. When I'm happy with my settings, I can click OK. We can see now that the original note body has been moved. And if I go to our EndNotes page, we can see here that they've been added into our EndNotes note body in sequence. I can once again choose to apply a text style to our notes, giving them all the same formatting. And that's how to create and manage footnotes, side notes, and EndNotes in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.